Happy feast day, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the 31st anniversary of the first Eucharistic miracle that occurred in the Naju Parish Church. Oh, it occurred on this day, May 16, 1991, exactly 31 years ago. And after that, they followed other Eucharistic miracles, all in all. How many Eucharistic miracles took place occurred through the little soul? 33 altogether. And the most outstanding one and most properly documented it was the last Eucharistic miracle that occurred inside the Vatican of the late pronuncier of Korea, Johannes Pilates. And it was very, very well documented. So, brothers and sisters, listen very carefully. I have a lot to share to you tonight. Huh? How to become Eucharistic. We receive the Eucharist every day. We also become Eucharistic. It means to become Christ-like. Yes or no? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, the message given to us by Jesus himself on May 16, 1991. Because I love you so much, I manifest that love by coming to you in the form of bread, hiding my divinity, dignity, and even human appearance. I come to you in person in the form of bread because of my great love for you. But many souls pay little attention to my real presence, insult me with sacrilegious communion, and neglect me with ingratitude. Yes. Now, one of the major reasons why there are so many Eucharistic miracles that happen to the life of the little soul, because today many people, they don't believe in the real, true presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Secondly, there are too many sacrilegious communion. They not only not believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, they also receive Jesus in the state of grave sin. Because I am love itself, Jesus said. Huh? So when they come to me through the sacrament of confession, I will wash away their sin that made their souls dirty and allow them to stay in my love. Now, many people, they don't go for confession regularly. They are in the state of grave sin. So they receive Jesus Christ sacrilegiously. And in the 10th anniversary of the first weeping of tears, uh, that was uh, in July 2, 1995, I was there. And we were all gathered to receive the seven uh, miraculous Eucharistic hosts that came down from the crucifix. So after the little soul received the seven miraculous Eucharistic hosts, uh, she went into ecstasy and she had a vision about so many people, including religious and the lay people, received the Eucharist sacrilegiously. I saw a place crowded with numerous people. The Holy Father and many other clergy were celebrating Mass. Many priests were offering mass while they were in sins. Many religious and the majority of the lay people were receiving Holy Communion when they were in sins without realizing their sinfulness. They were eating up the Eucharist without any hesitation and the Blessed Mother felt so much pain in her heart and spoke. And at that time, Two priests were there. The rest are there already left. Uh, only two priests, Father Pete Marshall and myself, were there. Uh, and this message was given to the priest. Uh. Mother Mary said, My priest, whom I love so dearly, I can put you in my eyes without feeling any pain. You were given the power to change bread and wine into the body and blood, soul and divinity of the Lord in the church. You were also given the power to forgive sin. Therefore, hurriedly teach the mystery of the Eucharist to all, so that they may make sincere confession and receive the Eucharist with clean heart, 
help them to follow the Lord. So Mother Mary wanted the priest uh, to teach the people about the mystery of the Holy Eucharist and also as the people to go for sincere confession before receiving Jesus. I'm very happy here. Most of you have gone for confession last night, you know? Many of you do that very regularly. Uh, why there are so many Eucharist miracles and why 14 of them received by the little soul, the Eucharist on her tongue changed into visible flesh and blood. I, I witnessed three times of this, you know, the Eucharist received by the little soul changed into visible flesh and blood on her tongue. Huh? And the most uh, uh, beautiful one was in my hometown when I was there, no? uh, looking into her mouth. The Eucharist was moving and forming into the shade of the heart. So through this Eucharist miracle, we begin to realize that when we receive the Eucharist, we are receiving the heart of Jesus. This was the first time when Father Jerry Obos and Father Ernest Santos uh, from Philippines, uh, they, they were there. When they witnessed this, they cried and they put their hand in front of the tabernacle and cried. Because every time they said Mass, they took it for granted, but they didn't realize it's so real. So we are very blessed, brothers and sisters. We have so many anniversaries of the Eucharistic miracles. You know? well, we celebrate every year. So next year we'll be celebrating this uh, anniversary in the Blessed Mother Mountain. So at the heaven we see so many, so many times the, the Eucharist, we should become like Christ. How do you become like Christ? Christ offered his life for us. He give his life for our salvation. And you can see the little soul, and the Lord allowed you know, the Eucharist to change into visible flesh and blood on her tongue because she has become so pure and so clean. That's why Jesus Christ performed miracles on her mouth. Then on 1st of January 2002, she was there praying at Calvary early in the morning. It was very, very chilly. So she, she even wore the flu mask. And she noticed the precious blood came from the toe of Jesus, the Calvary there, and the, the Jesus. And when the blood penetrated to her flu mask and changed into Eucharist for the little soul, this is show us how much the Jesus Christ has loved for the little soul. She revealed to her, consume it. This is the totality of my love. So how did Jesus Christ manifest his totality of his love for us? He changed his body into his precious blood and soul and divinity. He allowed us to be consumed. He allowed us to be consumed by all of us. You see, we consume, we are actually eating it up. If you want to become Eucharistic, we must follow the life of Jesus, especially the virtue of love. Uh, not just love those who love us, including loving our enemies, including loving those who persecute us. Yeah. And this is, this is manifested through the lives of the little soul so often when she's been beaten up, been bullied, been humiliated, she never retaliated. She even pray for these people. And I've witnessed that so many times, especially in the past few years when we have first Saturday of devotion in the Blessed Mother Mountain. No? She would hurt everybody after that. Her body swollen up. Just imagine. She's so tired. And a few times she collapsed. She got up again and keep on hugging people. That's you notice that very often she came to the Blessed Mother Mountain. She could hardly walk in pain and suffering all the time. So often I had to pray uh, for her and anoint her and help her to come to the stage. And there she sat down. She has no strength left at all. Why? She was so weak and yet she was there for us, huh? not for herself. Despite her weakness and the pain and suffering, she still wanted to be there for what? For us! And after that, after all this, it showed us, uh, I touched her body, all swollen up, 
behind Jesus. Hugging so many people. She used all her energy, all her strength, until she collapsed. Mm. And this, she has become Eucharistic. So, brothers and sisters, if we want to become Eucharistic, we had to die to ourselves. We had to rise again with the life of Jesus Christ so that we start living the life of the resurrection. Mm. We must have the heart of Jesus. That's why the ladies all have the heart of Jesus. Despite all the pain and suffering, she so often forgot herself and reached out to other people. When you see the lepers, many people run away. The volunteers saw the lepers, they all run away. But she heard them, she bathed them, <laughs> and prayed for them, and fed them, and cut their hair. This is the love from the Lord, from Mother Mary. This is from Mother Mary. Huh? The Lord gave up all of himself for your sake. He not only shed blood 2,000 years ago, but even now is squeezing all of himself on the cross for you. He's coming to you in the form of bread and is consumed by you. If people knew this, they would not have joined forces with the devil. So this is the totality of God's love for us. Even now, he is squeezing himself for us huh? to make himself available for all of us. So this is the totality of God's love. Mary, the mother of the Eucharist, draw us to the Eucharist. So when we come to Mother Mary, she will bring us to love the Eucharist. The human body of Jesus being formed in the virgin womb of Mother Mary because Jesus has no human father. So Mother Mary gave her all the human formation. So, realize this, brothers and sisters, God the Father used the body of Mother Mary, okay, to form the body of Jesus. That's why Mother Mary comes to Naju, gather all her children to teach us, to nourish us, to strengthen us, to empower us by the messages of love given with tears and tears of blood. So if we want to increase our love for Jesus, if we want to become Eucharistic, Come to Mother Mary. She will teach us. She will bring us closer to Jesus. She will teach us how to become Eucharistic and learn from the life of the little soul prepared by the Lord, by Mother Mary. How to live our life for others, not just for ourselves. That's why Mother Mary keeps on reminding us we have to throw away our pride, our ego, our self-righteousness and become humble little soul, so that we will become Eucharistic. We will think like Christ, we will speak like Christ, we will act like Christ. Amen. Are you ready to become Eucharistic? Then thirst and hunger for the Eucharist every day. Come and receive him, but with the purity of the heart. Okay? Go for sincere confession. Receive Jesus with the purity of the heart. Amen? Amen. Amen.